All right, here we are. Lasso Holmes, designer, evolver of the rocket mass heater into the Alaska stove. Now collaborator on the cabin stove, sidewinder. Matthew Walker, He's got our testing equipment here. Matthew Walker was an entrant in the uh, stove decathlon in the Mall of Washington. We got uh, Kiko Denzer, author of Build Your Own Earth Oven. Nice. Broom holder. Leslie Jackson, co author of Rock and Mass Heater. Max, fire speaking, pyromaniac. Pyromaniac with refinement, not overdoing it. <laughs> Um, what's happening here is we just put a fuel load in and we are got fairly sophisticated almost consumer level almost electronics uh, that are measuring the carbon monoxide and overall efficiency having to do with um, stack temperatures you can see here the stack temperature is around 300 degrees. We just put the fuel in, so it's likely we're going to get a CO spike. Yeah, we'll see the air here, um, oxygen start to come down as the wood gas starts to pyrolyze and enter the burn chamber, and this is the parts per million of carbon monoxide, and that will should spike right now, but um, we're dropping. That means the stove's we'll got, come a, back to that. got yeah. a hold of itself, and so we might just have a handle on it. Yeah, so we'll take a look at the shape of the spiral combustion there. Call this a sidewinder in evolving the J shape of the rocket mass heater, having the heat riser off to the side allows for a more compact architectural design, if you will. And uh, we'll just keep a hold on that flame. It's really fun to watch. This is a cast iron cooktop. You know, we could have a circular insert there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much a summary of what's going on. Dropping, the CO's dropping. We're doing good, yeah. Yeah. Bigger load, man. This is so educational. CO's dropping yeah. significantly. So just work. keeps dropping. Less surface area. Right. It's right. just dropping. Right. That's great. Goodbye, CO. Goodbye. And, uh, wow. We're, we're blowing steam. Yeah, there's or, probably going to be quite a bit of steam. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a little visible smoke right, right. now, but. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's. Oh, that's steam, huh? That's gorgeous. So if the riser was another brick. Wow. Wow. So here, here too comes the fuel now. It's gonna we'll probably still get a huff, but it's a boy. We'll watch watch the O2. If the O2 starts really nose diving, then the CO probably won't right now I, I expect if that O2 stays sort of 12-ish like that, it'll probably keep a hold of itself. The CO's trending up. But the O2 is staying level. Right, so that means we're not overloaded with wood gas. It just means we don't have great mixing. And why there's still pretty good CO. So under a thousand CO is is pretty darn good, right? Pretty darn good. And you know, really what we need, you need we need to frame that whole conversation in. You yeah. Know, rocket stoves are in a different category than box stoves and, and cook stoves and masonry heaters. Um, yeah. But that's pretty good. Okay. And the standard Yonko Evans rocket.